Now I can also override the setter, also known as the mutator. So I can say set, and by default, the value that's passed in to the full name when it's changed is gonna be called value. So if I were to say something like this, user.fullName equals John, uh, like this, let's just go lowercase j-o-n, uh, without the h, then what would happen is this j-o-n would be shoved into full name, which then would call this code block here, and the what would be inside of this value variable would be these three letters, j-o-n. Now I can actually do some stuff, any, anything I'd like to do in here. So I can actually say if value starts with, maybe I wanna know if it starts with something, I say, hey, if it starts with John, J-O-N, then what I want this field to be equal to is going to be John Doe. So if anyone says sets this to John and then I were to print a line, anything else for user's full name, it should now say John Doe. So if we run this, what will happen here is we'll see John Franks, of course, we're printing that the first time. We've reset this to say, hey, the full name is actually John, which we know is not the real case. But if we look at the mutator, the setter here, we're saying, hey, if the first name is John, then go ahead and actually set the backing field to actually equal John Doe for whatever reason. Maybe we have some business requirement that states that we need to do that. And then once I print the full name, of course, it's going to say full name and then print that backing field, which has now been turned to John Doe. Now we do have a problem here, actually. If I were to attempt to reassign full name to something else such as, let's say, Jane Sparks, and if I were to try to print that to the screen as well, what we would end up seeing immediately is something we probably wouldn't expect, which is we're still gonna see John Doe printed. But hold on, I set it to Jane Sparks. Why isn't that working? The reason that it's not working is because the full name property, we have overrided the setter. We're checking the value that was set to that backed field. If it started with John Doe, then we set it to John Doe. But what we didn't take into account is, hey, what about the else condition here? So we need to do an else condition. If this value starts with this, starts with John, then set to John Doe. Otherwise, set the field equal to the value that was passed in. So now if we come back here and we were to run this, we'll now see that we have John Franks, John Doe, and Jane Sparks that are returned. So you wanna make sure that you handle all of the various different types of scenarios you can have. This could very well be a valid scenario for your application. You may only wanna decide that only you can change that value to certain, you know, values or there's some type of logic for the setter that you need to adhere to. However, if you need an else condition, be sure to also implement that so that your property does act like a normal property, which can be have the properties read and have them set.